Nathaniel, a man more comfortable with the dust of antique relics than the company of his fellow townsfolk, strolled through a dilapidated estate sale in his quaint New England coastal town. His eyes landed on a grotesque octagonal shaped artifact, encrusted with filth as if it had been forgotten by time itself. Compelled by an almost magnetic allure, he purchased the unsightly antique, ignoring the unease creeping up his spine. Back in the solitude of his antiquated study, Nathaniel set the artifact on his weathered mahogany desk. He scrutinized the object, its surfaces etched with symbols that danced just outside his comprehension. Even awake, the ancient relic seemed to invade his dreams, whispers of a language he did not understand, beckoning him from his slumber. Then, one rain-drenched night, his explorations of the artifact took a chilling turn. Under the flickering lamplight, the room seemed to warp around him, an octagonal shadow yawning open, where once stood a collection of time-worn books. The silence of the air room deepened, the air heavy with an unseen menace. The artifact pulsed ominously, as if sighing in satisfaction. Nathaniel, shivering under the icy gaze of dread, found himself inexplicably drawn towards the shadow. His heart pounded, echoing the pulsating rhythm of the artifact. With a sense of impending doom, he stepped into the shadow. A wave of frigid air hit him as he crossed the threshold, his reality swallowed by the abyss. In the inscrutable panorama that unfolded, Nathaniel found himself in his town, but it was grotesquely distorted. The familiar structures were crumbling under an obsidian sky dotted with alien constellations. A stark stillness enveloped the desecrated landscape, the hush of the cosmos descending on his small coastal town. Haunting echoes of twisted existence reached him. The specters of his townsfolk, their human forms replaced with grotesque mockeries, wandered aimlessly. They whispered of an ancient cosmic entity that had enslaved their souls, a horror seeping into the very fabric of their world, ready to bleed into his. Nathaniel's mind teetered on the precipice of madness. He closed his eyes, praying for the comforting embrace of reality, but the whispers of the dam persisted. He ran back to the hauntingly familiar shadowy octagon, the only tether to his world. With a last look at the tortured mirror image of his town, he stepped through. Back in his study, the artifact lay silent, the oppressive dread lifted. Nathaniel, his heart pounding in his chest, seized the object. With a strength born of terror, he smashed it against the stone hearth. The artifact shattered into fragments. The octagonal shadow flickered, then stilled. In the following days, Nathaniel's mind was a battleground of reason and horror. He often found himself staring the wall where the octagonal shadow had been, his mind replaying the images of his town's doom. But with each passing uneventful day, he began to regain a semblance of normalcy. Until the whispers started. First, it was the butcher. His eyes vacant as he spoke of nightmares filled with an unholy darkness. Then the baker, her hands trembling as she recounted visions of a desolate town under a starless sky. One by one, the townsfolk echoed Nathaniel's own terror, their stories chillingly familiar. The realization hit Nathaniel like a cold wave. The entity had found its way into their reality, seeping into the minds of the townsfolk, transforming their dreams into visions of cosmic horror. The octagonal shadow wasn't just a doorway, it was a bridge between the worlds. Nathaniel's world crumbled around him, the pleasant New England town fading into the backdrop of an impending horror. He watched his fellow townsfolk, their eyes reflecting the same dread that haunted his nights. The entity had arrived and their world was now the stage of cosmic dread. The quaint coastal town, once a haven of tranquility, succumbed to the insidious whispers of the unknown. Nathaniel, once a simple antiquarian, was now the helpless observer of an ominous transformation. 
The entity's arrival was not signaled by calamity or ruin, but by whispers under the cover of night, as their world slowly mirrored the one Nathaniel had glimpsed.